Uh, I'd like to demonstrate sorting in Excel. So I've got a small data set here um, with four variables and we can see that it's been sorted on um, this first column, so just a reference number. Suppose um, I wanted to sort by score so I can select uh, the column heading and then the sort and filter button here um, if I just click it and then suppose I want the numbers ascending sort A to Z and it puts the smallest one first and the largest one last and everything else has been moved around so you can see these um, row and individual numbers are all mixed up now um, if I wanted to go the other way um, Z to A so largest to smallest if I sort by this um, categorical data so um, with with labels if I go to A to Z there um, it's put them in alphabetical order so afternoon then morning then night and and that's probably not what I want for um, an ordered variable so I can set up a custom sort um, and custom list instead of A to Z um, so new list and I'm going to add first morning uh, afternoon and night okay and then click OK and let's put them in order I can also do additional levels so I can do a custom sort um, when recorded morning afternoon night and then I might also sort by whether or not they've completed And so what that's done is moved the morning and complete ones to be after the morning complete ones. Um, the afternoon and complete ones come last and the night and complete ones come last. So click on the, the column title and then and then sort and we, we get back to beginning. Um, I'll just add one final tip that if we have blank columns um, that decouples these um, these columns from one another. So watch what happens to um, the block on the left when I sort now by score. Absolutely nothing happens. Um, so by having that blank column, um, I screw up the fact that previously every uh, row consisted of a single individual's answer. So no blank columns. Um, when we are working with data because um, it causes all sorts of trouble. Watch again when I sort. Um, entire rows are moved around.